When did you start your cricket and who influenced you? Who were your sort of mentors or people that you, the cricketers that you, you sort of looked up to? Um, I think I, one of my first cricket bats was a Ted Dexter autograph, so that's going back a long way. Ken Barrington was the next one, so I'm going back a long time. I, I started in the late 60s and um, I think looking at Barry Knight too and Trevor Bailey who were at Essex and and at that time Trevor was ready to retire and, and Knight he went on to Leicester so there was a, a space for a, a bowler and I was 17, 18 so I managed to get in and play first class cricket as opposed to playing second team cricket which I think sort of pushed my um, my career forward very very quickly and it went from there. I mean, we were a long time, we were a very young side. Uh, nine years, I think, we played without winning anything. So we all grew up together, became good cricketers together, and learned how to win together. So that was how Essex sort of came through. At that time, Keith Fletcher was, I think, the best captain that I'd played under. Uh, Tony Gregg was, was, was good, uh, Mike Brearley, top draw. But Fletch, to me, because I knew him as a county cricketer, and all the, uh, I got lazy. All the, every time I looked up, he'd made a fielding position change, and then I got a wicket. So this is easy. It wasn't until I played Test cricket I found out you, you know, the captain says, "Well, what field do you want?" And you have to do a little bit more thinking about it. The way they they do it now, the way the bowlers get together. Obviously, they've got plans and. Um, They've got plans how they're going to attack different batters. Uh, we we had the same team meetings and it it still came back to the same line. Well, we're bowled off stump just outside or top of off, shall we? Yeah, that seems a good idea. And I'm sure it's exactly the same now. But they, they go into it a little bit more uh, fully and, and they'll, they'll hang the ball outside off stump for somebody like Smith a little bit more. Um, although... The commentators on TV are still sort of not convinced about that. They, you, know, you hear them talking, well, that cuts, that takes out bowling him and LBW if you just hang the ball out there. And I can, I can appreciate that. I wouldn't have wanted to do that. But then again, I was bowling left arm over and bowling uh, to get LBWs and bowled. So slightly different from the way I would think about it. And that, that's always been the case, always through my career, the left arm over, their thinking is slightly different from all the right arm overs and uh, it, is, it is fairly unique.